Hey everyone, so today we're going to be making a really cute, sweet Halloween treat and that is going to be a Rice Krispie Ghost. And this is great for parties or right before you go trick-or-treating if you have all little kids over or maybe you're just hanging out with your friends and you want something cool to make. So this is what we're going to make and just keep watching. So the first thing you're going to need is 6 tablespoons of butter and 2 10 ounce packages of marshmallows that you can purchase at your grocery store or practically anywhere. You can probably get them at like Rite Aid too. And I epically failed at opening this bag of marshmallows and it was just pathetic and miserable. So next you're going to need to place those in the microwave for about 2 minutes and thoroughly mix the butter and marshmallow together and you're really going to need to stir it well and it look, should look like this when it's finished and then you're going to need a box of Rice Krispies cereal um, the plain wheat ones and take 10 cups of that and place it into your bowl and your bowl needs to be pretty big to hold all this or you could cut the recipe in half if you'd like if you're just eating it yourself and it's going to be kind of difficult to stir together at first. Just make sure there's no lumps of marshmallow left. And this is how much the recipe makes. Obviously you can cut it in half or fourth. And then you're going to need to shape your Rice Krispies into a ghost after letting it sit for 30 minutes. And I did this pretty easily, but if you're having trouble sculpting your ghosts then you can cut out a template from a ghost online and I'm sure you can find that anywhere and the Rice Krispie treats should be pretty easy to work with and if it's too sticky then you probably have a problem and should let it sit longer so next what I'm going to do is take some orange icing that I purchased at the grocery store and it already came in this nice little container and place that onto your ghost and I wrote the words boo but you could also write like happy Halloween or just Halloween or ghost or anything like that and it, it just makes it cute and the icing tastes good too and the last major step is melting some chocolate chips or you could just take a block of chocolate and cut it up and melt it in the microwave for about a minute to a minute and a half. Just don't overcook it in a microwavable safe bowl. And then stir it all together and I did burn my finger right there and it hurt really really bad. So it was pathetic and it was a bad mistake by me but I'll get over it. So then you're going to need to make two circles on your ghost and those are going to be the chocolate eyes and obviously you could use other candy like black licorice or any circular candies you could find or if you wanted to use black icing you could do that too. I just find chocolate better and it does give your ghost some more flavor. And then you're going to need to place your mouth between the two eyes and you could also add um, some blush by melting some white chocolate and adding red food dye and that'd be really cute too but I didn't have any red food dye left or food coloring so I couldn't do that but you know it's a good idea so this is what my ghost looked like when it was completed and alongside I added some chocolate chips some chocolate chip um, candy corn bark and over here is just some orange icing and all those things can be used for dipping your Rice Krispie Treat into to add a little more flavor. So thanks for watching everyone. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.